Just a quick message before the episode gets underway. I want to let you know that there is an opportunity to sponsor the RG10 podcast. More about this at the end of the episode, so keep listening. Welcome to the RG10 podcast, brought to you by the people behind RG10 magazine. The aim is to bring you interviews, information and entertainment. In fact, anything interesting that's relevant to living around here. Were you woken by the sound of heavy breathing on Sunday morning? Well, if so, we at the RG10 podcast can reveal why. What you heard were the athletes taking part in the Twyford Together Charity 5K and Fun Run, sponsored by Castle Royal Golf, Health and Country Club. It was the run's 10th anniversary this year and it took place at the Piggott School. It's an event that's put on by Twyford Together in association with Barnes Fitness. Twyford Together are a group of volunteers whose main aim is to bring residents, businesses, groups, charities and schools closer together. I popped down there on Sunday to witness the area's biggest sporting event. OK, we're five seconds away from starting. Okay, so I'm Ellie Barnes from Barnes Fitness and I organise sports events including the fantastic Twyford Charity 5K Fun Run this morning. Yes, tell me a bit about it. How's it been going so far? It's always manic, but it's amazing to see so many different um, families here enjoying. We had a 12-month-old child take part in the uh, preschool toddle and then we've got all the way up to... I haven't looked at the ages, but it's going to be a 50, 60 year old person doing the 5K. So it's a fantastic morning of all ages and stages. And what I really like seeing is the kids at the back who aren't particularly the most sportiest kids doing it and getting a medal and looking happy at the end. And parents and spectators, can I just ask you to stay behind the white lines whilst we start? Because it is carnage. Faye, move back, please, my own child. Move back. Right, you guys have shuffled for five steps back. So we're just too keen. Let's just make sure the man on the clock's ready. Right, five, four, three, two, one, go! So Twyford together obviously bring the whole event together. I'm involved with the run side of it, but they're involved with bringing all the stalls here today and all the charities and all the local community activities to the event to tell people that what's available and there's so much available in this area and the community here is fantastic. The key word there, I think you say, was manic. What makes it so... I'm laughing there. What makes it so manic? feels like it's kind of herding sheep at some point. Herding cats. I was going to say more like cats. Uh, It's manic because it's just... uh, We've got five events across the morning um, and it's one after the other and I try to do a prize giving after every event, which I know the kids love and all the families love and I love doing, but it is non-stop from the moment I get here at 7 o'clock till I finish here at 1 o'clock, but I love it. And a bit about your background as well, because you're not just some old person who's like, I know, I'll get involved in the race. There's a bit more to it than that, isn't it? I don't want to embarrass you. (laughs) Yeah, so my um, background is uh, how I got into event organising, basically, was I organised a one-off, I said, 10 years ago, fundraising 5K event for me to get to the World Triathlon Championships in New Zealand. And I thought it was just going to be a one-off, raise a few grand to help me get there. Um, but I actually loved it so much and the business has grown from that and now we have 12, 15 events a year. And there are some incredibly impressive athletes here. We're in the middle of the 5k race at the moment but the uh, the 2k race for the 11 to 12 year olds is that earlier on? We did it in just like 7 minutes 47 which personally I found absolutely sickening. Can you not run that fast Ben? (laughs) I reckon I could just about maybe for 2k but any more than that I'd be vomiting. And you want to know what he's gone on to do the 5k. That was his warm up. It was was absolutely awful. It ruined the day for me. But yeah. No it's it's something inspiring about that. That's what you mean Ben. There are some incredibly incredibly gifted athletes here particularly the kids. Yeah and as I say I love seeing those gifted athletes but for me it's actually seeing the kids that maybe mum has 
not force them, but gently encourage <laughs> them to come along, bribe them with some chocolate, who knows? And they're the ones that really make it for me, are the ones that then they do this event and get the bug and they may carry on doing park run every week, then move on, join a club and that and progress their um, sporting endeavours. And do you get tight finishes? Do you have to like be really watchful on the line as to who comes first and second? Yes, and I'm very, very, very grateful to St Mary's Church for running that side of it for oh. me. So there's a whole team of volunteers from You'd the church. expect them to be incredibly fair. OK, Jake, um, you're with Castle Royal. What is going on as far as you're concerned today? Uh, so it's a great event, obviously a lot of kids at the moment. Um, we've got a setup of uh, putting and chipping to get the kids involved. And then we've got a lot of advertisement for our swim school, uh, crash course, um, and obviously um, a lot to do with our membership with the health and fitness side of things. Um, obviously getting fit in, in the community is great. So um, yeah, it's brilliant, brilliant um, opportunity to sponsor. Um, I've seen a couple of races, everyone's run really well. Um, yeah, really enjoyable, the sun's out, so couldn't ask for better weather. Have you been to the Twyford 5K before? Never, no, nope, this is my first time, so yeah, looking forward to it. And what have you thought of it? Uh, yeah, it's been brilliant. Yeah, I wish uh, I'd bring my shorts and could add a little run, but... Uh, I, think, I was going to say, you're in your chinos <laughs> and your very sensible shoes. You look magnificent, don't get me wrong. But it's not really classic running gear. But I, for one, and, I, and I've heard a buzz around the whole place, are thinking, that guy from Castle Royal ought to run. He looks quick, even though he's wearing his chinos. I think you should bow to public pressure. What do you think of that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so, no. I think uh, last Ooh, place. Close <laughs> ball. Hi, my name's Gary, uh, also known as Dot's Bike, and I've come along on behalf of my journey and Wakenham Council to fix bikes uh, and, you know, just try and improve, get people cycling, I guess. Uh, Gary, I, I turned up today on my bike, and just as I was uh, parking it up, you, you accosted me and said, may I give your bike the once over? And I, well, I, I couldn't believe my luck. Tell me, what have you done to my bike today? Um, I think the biggest change for you was tightening your saddle so there was some <laughs> movement and play, and play in the saddle uh, so it was kind of going up and down oh, yeah. um, so that was probably the biggest change um, I've also then gone through uh, looked at the gears and the brakes and I thought your bike was in better condition than than you you had <laughs> said because yeah. I'm so slow on it so I just presume it's the bike <laughs> oh well no yeah it must be the bike it must be the bike <laughs> Max, what race have you been going in, Max? Uh, year three to four. And you didn't just run in it, an incredibly impressive race. How'd you go? Uh, I came second overall and got second male. Wow, were you pretty happy with that? Yeah. Brilliant. What, what did you enjoy about the event today, would you say? Uh, uh, getting second overall. Was it hard work out there? Yes. Really? Do you do much racing? Uh, yeah. Go on, tell me, how, how would you describe uh, your running style to someone when you talk to them uh, about it? Fast. <laughs> Pretty good. Now, what is that you got around your neck, and could you describe it to me? A medal. A medal. How would you describe it? Could you lift it up for me, Max? Max, so what does it say? Could you tell me what it says on it? A fun run finisher. And if you, are you gonna, what are you, you going to do with that when you get home? Uh, put it on my medal hanger. Have you got a medal hanger? You've got lots of yeah. different medals, have you? Which medals have you got on there? Uh, a lot. I don't, I don't remember how many. And do you just do, do, you, do anything else as well? Yeah, you football like football ones. I've got lots of football ones. Yeah. What would you say to any other kids wanting to take part today? How would you describe the race? How would you persuade them to uh, do it? Soft ground and a flat course. And what's the best thing about running, would you say? I think the best thing about running is getting fresh air. 38 is Tristan, number 38. Fantastic work, Tristan, answer yes. So over the years, has there been any particular standout performances that stick in your mind? Absolutely. It was just last year, actually, we had um, a girl called Cara who was uh, visually impaired and she came along. She was a teenager, 13, 14, came along with her guide and she had us all in tears. 
to be honest, at the finish line because that's a big thing for a visually impaired, let alone a 13, 14 year old girl who's going through a lot of changes emotionally, physically, to then to come and say, I want to take part in a able-bodied race and that that's what we uh, pride ourselves on that anyone can take part that was ellie barnes from barnes fitness thanks so much for listening to the rg10 podcast we're now into series seven of the show we've been going over two years and we've passed half a century of episodes i'd love to give a massive thanks to our loyal local listeners and it's because our listeners are so loyal and so local that makes us such an attractive proposition for sponsors So if you're interested in sponsoring an episode or even the whole show, then we'd love to hear from you. Finally, if you've got any thoughts about who or what we can include in future episodes, then please do let us know via the rg10mag.com website or on any of our various social media channels. Thanks for listening and goodbye.